Hi everyone, we are putting lime plaster on the cob building. This is the final plaster. I wanted to go over a little of the process of what we've done here. So we're almost done. And this little section right there that Sarah's working on is the last little bit. So what we did is originally, before any plaster went on, we went through the wall with a hard brush and a soft brush and we got rid of anything that would flake off. Just brushed it all down, anything that was loose got taken out just to really prep the wall. Then we came in and sprayed it, uh, just a light spray but multiple times if you could do that like a day or two before so that the moisture can really penetrate into the wall a bit. Um, we, we did that. Then well, right before we were going to plaster, came in and brushed it down with a light brush again just to knock off that final little gritty dust in there. And then the lime plaster went on. The way that they're putting the lime plaster on is one person goes uh, ahead and is using a, a metal trowel to get it on the wall originally. Then Brad comes in behind with a, a wooden trowel, although he's got a little metal one right now, but uh, that's to add texture on the outside which is more of kind of a rough look. And he is uh, doing texture and compression. So really pressing it into the wall, making sure there's good good binding. Of course, before we did anything, everything was taped off like that window. Uh, everything was just prepped and, and ready so that we're not getting lime where we don't want it. Then after it's all done, on the outside we're dropping this burlap down, which is just attached by boards, rolling them up and in, into the burlap. And that burlap is then sprayed with with the light mist at an angle so that the water is not getting sprayed from the water hose directly onto it. It's kind of hitting the burlap and then creating a mist in between the burlap and the wall which just kind of keeps it moist enough so that it doesn't dry out too fast and just kind of do that as needed. Uh, I think the idea is that it wants to dry out a little bit and then you spray it again so you moisten it and then it dries out a little bit more and then you moisten it and you just kind of keep doing that. The slow cure is the idea. And then this is all the outside that we're doing. So the texture will be like this. I'm not sure if you can see the detail there but it's a little, it's a little rough. There's little uh, tiny little pockets in, in that. The idea is that when the gets water on it from rain will kind of break up the droplets and the streams so that you don't get a lot of mechanical erosion in one spot it doesn't channel it and and really cut into it too much on the inside it'll be more of a smooth finish which it's kind of like what this is right now this is a smooth finish of course not completely finished off because it's going to be roughed but uh, it'll be the smooth finish on the outside so this is lime plastering a very delicate process takes a lot of time and skill and it's coming together nicely thanks for watching